welcome to one shot part three trying to uh, this is a side-scrolling action puzzle game made by a small company called frozen by quite like the uh, interactive menu. As you can see, I can control my character. And we'll just start a single player game. Once upon a time, there were three valiant heroes chosen by a magical artifact called the Trine. You may have heard another tale of how they met. Let me tell you a story of their latest adventure. Something mysterious and magical was taking place in the forest. First of the three heroes was Amadeus, a wizard. Not perhaps the bravest or the most powerful, but he was clever and sensible. Then there was Pontius the knight, fearless protector of the realm, who loved good food, drink, and battle. Last but not least was Zoya, a thief. An entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. She was mysterious and only seen as a passing shadow on a cloudy night. Amadeus the wizard was asleep in his cottage. It was a place where he could study his fireball spell, hidden from the scornful eye of his wife. Turn it off. I'm sleeping here. What is it? Who's there? I normally stay clear of a lot of the uh, indie games that get released, but uh, I actually think this looks very good. Generally, I do prefer a uh, one of the big block blockbuster top games. You know, high production value, good visuals. How very strange! Saying that, I haven't played a good side-scrolling game for a very long time. The path ahead was blocked, but this wouldn't stop the great wizard, Amadeus. With his magic, he could lift objects. Yeah, that's a shame. I could have just levitated myself on a rock all the way through the game. Amadeus could also conjure boxes out of thin air. So fairly simple controls, uh, left mouse button is well for this character is to uh, create boxes, right mouse button to levitate, and it's just a standard uh, WASD keys to move around and space bar to jump, or W to jump either way. The 
light moved through the forest, leading Amadeus further. Torn between fear and wonder, he followed. Mm -hmm. I demand to know what's happening. The trine. Not this again. <gasps> Pontius! Amadeus, get your things! We need to save the kingdom! What? Oh, this won't do at all, Pontius. I've children waiting for me to come home. I can't leave. But your magics are needed. The kingdom is in danger. I've never actually played the uh, original Trine, but I just assumed that the uh, his Trine is a device to allow you to switch between three knew that the heroes were needed once more. How did you end up here? Let me tell you. Pontius had headed out that evening, for there was trouble on the peasant farms. Creeping vines were taking over the fields. Hmm. A warlock must be behind this devilry. I'll find him and teach him a lesson with my sword. This sort of reminds me of a game that I remember playing a very long time ago called uh, The Lost Viking or something similar. Where you could uh, switch between characters. There'll be pumpkin pie for dinner tonight. This really does look excellent. I'm quite impressed. Pontius searched the farm, but saw no one there. Hmm. The nasties must have fled at the sight of me. side-scrolling game I played would be a uh, little big fan 2 for the uh, PlayStation 3. did, but he knew that the artifact was there to help, and so Pontius felt happy. He couldn't think of a better quest than saving his kingdom. Late that night, Zoya was concealed in the shadows, hidden from the shimmering moonlight.
this character's uh, abilities are left mouse button for arrow, right mouse button for uh, grappling hook. So I guess if you're good with the rope in uh, worms, you'd probably be good at this as well. Zoya passed through the town as quietly as a whisper. Game. It's quite cheap on uh, Steam at the moment due to the uh, Christmas sales, I think. Then she saw a glimmering light moving on top of the old church. Thievery. <laughs> oh, there's a perfectly good explanation for this. Tell me, where are we going? We don't really know yet. Something strange is going on. A new venture. Shall we go then? So the trine had come for the heroes, and the adventure was ready to begin. Amadeus worried for his family, while Pontius looked forward to their new quest. Zoya, of course, imagined what fabulous treasure they might find. That's the intro is finished and the uh, real game begins here. Let the adventure begin! Where are we? Where did the trine bring us? Let's take a look around to find out.
This water is really powerful. I ought to see if it works on potatoes as well. You mean for note for later? Sparkling plants need water. Intruders! Do you think we'll have to fight them? Get your pocket stick! There is actually, we cook uh, the big fat one! The goblins game Attack! Well. <gasps> goblins! Charge! What we're here itself. for, slaying goblins. A simple, straightforward quest. I like it. I don't. Fairly simple.
probably not the smartest way to get that point. So I've leveled up. So on the left side it says how many skill points I can use, which is one. On the right side it shows me my experience. I'm not sure what I do with the experience yet. Okay, so I've gone with the ability to conjure two items, so two boxes. Yeah, I'm not sure what the experience is for. Okay, I've skipped ahead about uh, five minutes. I've been uh, trying to work this puzzle out for the last couple of minutes. I need to get the water to you know, actually uh, touch that tree that I'm standing next to, but I can't quite get it to, uh, to move across. Doesn't quite reach it. Didn't even uh, see the ramp there. Well, that was actually fairly simple. There she goes. <laughs> She has a healthy appetite, that one. <gasps> What's that? 
Whatever it was, I'm glad it went the other way. Just going to sort of level that. Okay, I've uh, selected the uh, frost shield. Smartest way to solve that puzzle, but it worked. I might keep on playing for a bit longer, but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this was One Shot Part 3, Trine 2. Next part will be uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations.
Thanks for watching. See ya.